I'm out here recording in the dark. The kids just went to bed because I think I might have solved my lighting and other problem here. Now, I did think it was strange that I was missing something here. But I had looked here and it said short pin. And I was thinking, oh, short pin. Yeah, it's probably just used for some to short things out, to do some kind of analysis. Well, back to that in a second. All these guys here have no power coming to them from the battery. They should, of course they should, because one of them's for the dome lights, one's for the radio, one's for the ECUB, and ECUB number two. I could not for the life of me. I even thought, okay, dome relay, replace, you know, swapped out, replaced that. Um, where was it? Another one of these. AC cut, ACC cut. I really thought it was that relay. Nope, not the reason. Well, I looked in my other fuse box and I looked on the power distribution um, wiring diagram and I found this. It's called a short pin. And what it is, it's just not a fuse. Let's look inside here. Just literally a thick, same with these spade terminals or whatever they're called, these terminals. Same thickness, so it won't blow out. And it belongs in here. Let's put that in. Belongs in here. And the reason it's there, it what it does is it takes B plus from over here, puts it through here and into this side of these fuses, and then this side goes out into where it needs to go to. I may be confused on which sides, but it doesn't really matter, it's one or the other. Anyways, things like that are here are dome, radio. You wouldn't want those things sitting there on like your security system and so forth if you're sent shipping from the factory over to the dealership. So one of the dealer's um, jobs when they get the vehicles is to grab their short pins from the drawer and pop them in the new vehicles. Then all the systems um, like dome lights and things will come on that are hot at all times and the battery won't be as drained. So I really hope this does what I want it to do. I'm about to go test it in here. What we want to see is this. Yes. Yes. The dome lights are working. Now if I turn, there's a switch under here. It says door. I really hope this comes on. Door. So it should come on when the door is open. The door is open here. Oh wait. So I close it and they come on. Nice. I think it was a thing with the timing. So let's see what happens if I close this. Make sure I have the keys this time. It's locked. Let's see if those light go, that light goes out after a few seconds. Or gets dim. Still on. Ah. Okay, I just turned the key and it went off. It's locked. I'm gonna unlock it and it just comes on. Awesome. Haha, <laughs> this thing's working. I can't believe it. Okay, moment of truth, moment of truth. The ACC function. Oh yes. The light is working in there in the ignition. Show me where to put my key in. ACC. And moment of truth, come on. No, nothing. Wait. I don't think I have that plugged in. I don't think I have that plugged in. And I'm get, getting the beeping, which I don't think I was getting before. Let me unlock and go around. This is good, good news. Thank you, Jesus. I've been trying to track down this problem for a while. This has really delayed things. Okay. I had some voltmeter action trying to test up everything here. I'm gonna go for this. Everybody says don't, whatever. Make sure the battery's unplugged, whatever. Oh yeah, baby. Shwing! 
This baby's on, and I'm in the ACC position. It's working, it's working. Now, moment of moment of moment of truth would be climate control. I'll turn this thing on. Come on now, climate control. What's your problem, Boblum? Still can't get anything to shine on here. I can get these backlights to come on, but nothing else. None of these little lights, none of the backlight here. It's just kind of the backlight for the white lettering, but not the actual little orange lights or green or whatever is supposed to be in there. And I can't get anything to show up on here, which I really need to be able to run my stuff. Um, this should be plugged into speakers, but I don't think I'll find anything. So, yeah, figure that out later. What, what, oh, yeah, got my little lights for the inside of the glove box. Mm-mm-mm. What about this back here? Ugh. Nope. See, there's no power here either. So, something's still going on with the climate controls, which I do not know. So, those are my problems climate control, dome lights, map lights coming on. Perfect. Okay, so that's it. Climate control. Uh, the VSC stuff there's engine check for O2 sensors then airbags yes and fuel gauge still not working other than that I mean it's drivable you got radio now you got dome lights so I can work on the car at night without my own light just got to figure out this 